Hi, wonderful friends. Welcome to another video. My name is Alyssa and this is Dreaming of the Farm. Today I am taking you on a slow and relaxing shop with me to Pottery Barn for summer 2024. Get ready to take in all the coastal colors and the beautiful beach tones and just see what's in store for those longer days where we can sit back and relax. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Before we get any further, please make sure you join my YouTube family by subscribing to my channel where I share home decor, motherhood, and lifestyle. So upon entering the stores, we're met with a beautiful woodside duet lounge chair collection with a gorgeous canopy umbrella. I love how they accented this piece with fresh seashells and some neutral striped pillows and some coastal blankets. And I love how the inside of the umbrella is black. I will note that when I filmed this, the outdoor furniture was all 20% uh, off. I filmed this early April and um, yeah, that's a great deal, 20% uh, off the outdoor furniture. I do my best to share pricing in these videos, but the best way to get the most accurate pricing is to always check out the website. So we're heading out to the front of the store where they have a more modern collection happening and they paired this reed table with lots of black lanterns as well as lush green ferns. These were so lifelike. I love a good fern in the summer. Nothing says botanical relaxation like some bright lush green. These horse head bookends have been catching my eye for months. First time I was able to pick one up and they are heavy. I always love that Louis Vuitton book. These are some staples that you'll catch in a pottery barn any time of the year and a quick glance at some photo frames. So moving throughout the space, I love how the outdoor collections can kind of be dressed for inside or outside. I love how this one has baby blue napkins on top of navy blue chargers. I love the way the baby blue complements the navy and these crystal glasses and the crystal stemware. They were so heavy, $18 each, and I just thought that they were so beautiful. They seem so patriotic to me. In my opinion, they looked like a pineapple meets a firecracker, and I just thought that they were really cute and unique. So something new to Pottery Barn Summer this year is the Huntington Collection. It's a chunky all-weather wicker and it's with classic rattan and it comes in two finishes. So you can have this tan that they have featured in the store and they also have like a more gray slate. I felt that these were very comfortable. I love how sturdy this wicker is. Wicker can sometimes like bust open and it's always disappointing because it's so beautiful but this wicker in my opinion uh, felt like it would really weather all types of weather so i think that's what they're going for and i love the patriotic pillow there's not a ton of patriotism happening in pottery barn but the spots where they share it they sure hit it right
eclectic is this faux coral in this chambray blue. It's so pretty. And they have a lot of faux coral happening and I'm here for it. Like, each is not always my decor style, but I can get down with the coral. And I feel like it's just so interesting and unique and definitely a way to add texture to your room and something that I would definitely um, have all seasons. So I'm going to stop talking about the coral and share some more of these uh, summer pillows. So these are outdoor pillows. They had a nice uh, like fabric to them, a little more water resistant, but if you leave something in the rain, it's going to get wet. So let's take a look at how Pottery Barn does interior for the summer. So lots of fuchsia, mustard yellow, lots of rose, and deep dark navy. I love um, this collection with the round bookend chairs, the ottomans, and again, some more shell accents happening. I love the wicker on the coffee table. And something that really caught my eye was this wicker end table. So, so pretty. So we're going to move into some dining and this collection is so Spanish. It's so um, fun. It just says summer party. It says fiesta to me. And I love uh, the stitch work on the underlay tablecloth here and the way these glasses look hand painted and the way they accented this collection with wicker and some gold and bright hot pink flowers. So sit back and relax and enjoy this rainbow facade of napkins. They have the most beautiful napkins at Pottery Barn and they have colors to suit every personality and home. Wow, that beach tablescape was just breathtaking. I love all the seashell accents and my favorite would be this uh, conch shell wine holder as well as uh, these napkin rings and how cute were the little fish salt and pepper shaker. I thought that this whole collection was just unique and the pricing in my opinion when you're shopping at 
Pottery Barn, um, I thought was fair because these items are just quality and they are just conversation pieces. Like how cool are those? So something new I saw at Pottery Barn this time was they had the pricing easier to find as you can see here on the stemware display. This is not something that Pottery Barn has always done in the past. This is more of like a crate and barrel vibe and I loved how everything had an easy to find price. Almost reminded me of like Ikea. So that was something nice to see and a nice upgrade. So wrapping around to the back of the store, there's another beautiful tablescape. It's like Tuscan meets Madrid and there's some more beautiful faux coral and a nice white and some more uh, wicker and rattan. Limelight hydrangeas just make me so excited for summer. My hydrangeas have not bloomed yet. Um, that's so pretty. I love these uh, turquoise napkin rings. The pricing for the napkin rings are quite affordable, and honestly, I would wear those as a bracelet. collection and they also have Malibu metal and then they also have this more petite they call it like their apartment collection and uh, nice to see kind of a smaller table option they have endless amounts of vases back here from your dark blacks with your more like Italian vases and then your glass pillar vases, um, some bowl flowerscapes. I love the white ones. Um, endless ways to decorate your patios with some planters as well as some gorgeous lanterns. So as you may remember from my spring shop with me video, a lot of these florals are left over from spring. You can see the pink tulips, there's some more hydrangeas in there, but there's definitely some uh, summer accents that have been added, like those beautiful yellow poppies, there's some ran hopeless flowers in there, a few peonies and rose. Uh, just so 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 pretty lots of blossoms um, but uh, not as much as there was for spring for florals I really love the Merlot 
hydrangea. Such a pretty color. Not sure I've actually seen that color of a hydrangea though in uh, real life. This book was cool. The Art of Outdoor Living. Unfortunately, I couldn't open it to share it with you guys. And I always love those accent beads, but never really quite sure what they're for. So checking out um, the section of the store that I haven't been to yet. Some more faux coral. You can see that's uh, making a statement. It's scattered throughout, and I just really love to see it. It's just such a fun way to decorate for the summer. And how cool are these uh, lights? They're like buoys. Reminds me of crabbing. And um, they actually are lights. Like they actually work as lights, but they work great as a decoration as well. So this is what they call the outdoor kitchen and they share some more American ways to decorate for your 4th of July barbecue. I'm sure as we get closer and deeper into the summer months they'll have some more uh, red, white, and blue happening but as I mentioned earlier the few pieces they have really do hit the mark. Very tasteful and a nice way to be patriotic. So as we tour the back of the store, they have some more living room uh, setups. They also have um, some bedroom setups. And before I forget to share it, a thank you to Red Bank and Shrewsbury, New Jersey. I filmed this at The Grove and they were so welcoming and warm and kind. And I just really appreciate you guys uh, letting me come in and film. So as we wrap this video up, I'm going to share uh, some more of the spring interior collection they have happening. I love this pillow, although it does make me dizzy, but I love the red and white pinstripe with the wildflowers on top and uh, gotta love a good knit from Pottery Barn. Their blankets are just the coziest and uh, there are some nice discount and clearance pieces at the back of the store. octopus pillow and the sand dollar pillow are such a cutie. Like I would put them in my kids room. All right, friends, that wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed this summer shop with me at Pottery Barn. I thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash that like button and leave me a comment, preferably a kind comment. I always appreciate those and if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel I would love to have you join my YouTube family all right friends until next time big hugs good vibes 